Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about the things that I wish I knew before cloth diapering. I have it written down. So I, like I just said, I do have it written down. On my phone, I have like little bullet points. So I will be looking at my phone a little bit because, you know, I, I forget what I want to say when I just sit and film a video. So I wrote it down so I don't forget anything. So let's do this. So the first thing, like the first section I'm gonna talk about is what I wish I knew before cloth diapering. Um, the first bullet point I wrote down is, it's not as complicated as it seems, which is so, it's really not. It's so true. When I first started learning about cloth diapers, I was so confused because everybody had their own favorites. I would watch videos and someone would be like, this is the best diaper this is what works and then someone else would say something completely different and because of that I'm like oh my gosh this is gonna be confusing I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna use and it just seemed so much more complicated than it actually was so yeah that's the first one um, the second point I have also kind of goes along with that everyone is going to have their own opinions on the best diaper wash routine etc which is true, everyone is gonna have their own opinions, everyone's gonna have their own thing. And when you're first starting cloth diapering, or at least for me, I would look at that and I was like, well then what really works? Like someone says one thing and then someone else says another thing. So my biggest advice with that is just do your own thing. Do what you think is gonna work for you. Don't, don't just follow what someone says just because that's what they say. Does that make sense? Everyone's gonna have their own opinions. Everyone's gonna love their own things and that's okay and You know just try what diapers you want to try if you think a diaper is cute try it out Don't just go based off what everyone else says because when you do that Like I said, it's complicated. It gets so overwhelming um, And I'm just speaking from my experience. So for me, it was very overwhelming my third bullet point I have in here is Buying secondhand is a great way to start cloth diapering. No, it's not gross. <laughs> That's exactly what I wrote down. <laughs> when I first um, was looking into cloth diapering, a lot of people were like, just buy secondhand. Then you kind of know what you like, and if you decide you want to buy some new ones, then you'll you'll know what to buy and what you what works for you, I guess. Um, but when I first heard about people buying secondhand, I was like, oh yuck! <laughs> I thought it was kind of gross. Um, because, you know, babies poop in them, but as I did more research, I'm like, it, I don't know, it just makes sense to buy secondhand, and that's all I do now. I, like, I will not buy new diapers, because buying secondhand is cheaper. Um, it's reusing something that's already made, so it's a little bit better for the environment to buy something secondhand rather than buy something new. Um, and you, you sanitize them. When you get a secondhand diaper, sanitize it, and then it's good to go, and you can use it, and it's not gross. So, I wish I knew that ahead of time because I would have, it would have made my cloth diapering journey, I think, a little bit easier in the beginning if I would have just bought secondhand instead of buying new, <laughs> because when you buy new, it's, it is more expensive. So, I wish I knew about that. I wish I knew that that was, like, just do it. <laughs> Um, a piece of information, oh wait, what? Hold on, let me reread that. A piece of info that would have made things easier. You know, like I said, everyone's gonna have their own opinions. What I wrote for that is, microfiber is horrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. I wish I would have known that in the beginning. I almost stopped cloth diapering because all I had were microfiber inserts. I heard people using microfiber and it worked great. Um, for me, that was not the case. It almost made me quit cloth diapering because I was constantly having leaks and I had all these issues and it was because I was using microfiber. And once I got some, uh, I wanna say they were Groovia prefolds. Yeah, once, once I got prefolds, I realized it's just the microfiber. It just wasn't great and prefolds work great everything else works great it's just microfiber in general just not great I would just skip the microfiber if you can just move away from that because 
it, yeah, it almost made me quit. And I'm so glad that I didn't quit and that I kept going on with it, but it just, the experience I had with it was not great. Um, advice, I, advised, advice I'd give to my past self. Just do it. Don't wait. Just buy random diapers. Don't look back. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I would tell my past self if I could is just do it. Like, don't, don't look too deep into it because that's when it gets um, overwhelming. And that's when I start overthinking things. Um, so just do it. Like, if you... Maybe you're online someday and you see someone local just selling cloth diapers. Just do it. I mean, you know, just buy them. Um, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have just jumped right into it and started doing it a lot sooner. Um, yeah, that's, I guess that's all I have to say in this video. Um, just remember, cloth diapering is not... Well, it shouldn't be complicated. Just do what works for you. If you can, buy secondhand. Whatever, whatever diapers don't work for you, you can always resell for probably the same price you bought them for if you bought them secondhand. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Everybody is going to have their own opinions. Remember that everybody is going to say completely different things and that is okay because everyone's different. Um, yeah, so finally I'm gonna end this video. I keep like almost ending it, but then I don't. My kids are yelling in the background. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.